Two of the most recognizable names in hip-hop found themselves on opposing sides of a sour and protracted conflict in the early 2000s when the genre was experiencing unprecedented growth. The founder of the Bad Boys record label, P. Diddy and 50 Cent, got into a fight that would garner immediate attention and polarize fans for years to come. There were insults and physical altercations and legal disputes. But why do you think 50 Cent goes as far as accusing Diddy of being responsible for multiple rappers' demise? Is it just he hates Diddy's guts so much, or is there a reality behind these accusations? Let's find out in this video. But of course, before I spill anything, make sure first that you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more updates and videos like this. Now buckle up and get ready to delve into the dramatic and exciting world of P. Diddy and 50 Cent. In 2016, 50 Cent took his dislike towards P. Diddy to a whole new level by branding him as the devil. He even went on to accuse him of being responsible for the untimely end of Biggie Smalls, claiming that the late rapper has paid the ultimate price for dancing with the devil, referencing Diddy, of course. Instagram rants against Diddy were nothing short of fiery with his accusations, causing a huge stir in the music industry. 50 took it upon himself to solve the mystery behind the death of Notorious B.I.G., and naturally, he pointed his finger at none other than P. Diddy. In his 2006 mixtape, he raps about Puff's involvement in Biggie's death and accuses him of being soft and scared of the West Coast. Four years later, 50 accused P. Diddy of taking advantage of his late best friend's demise through a weird Twitter petition. In the 13 years since Notorious B.I.G.'s death, Diddy has certainly made a cottage industry out of eulogizing his late collaborator. Besides the police sampling tribute I'll Be Missing You, a hit in 1997, Diddy's Bad Boy Records has issued two posthumous Biggie albums, with You Know Who rapping on each. Diddy has a frequent habit of dropping references to Notorious B.I.G. or his weeping mother into his own songs, and the savvy businessman sampled Biggie as recently as last year on his Angel single. And we shouldn't forget the Biggie biopic, Notorious produced by, uh, you get the picture. But the track that finally sent 50 Cent over the edge is not even by Diddy. Instead, Ghost of Christopher Wallace is a single by rapper J Electronica, to which Diddy contributes a cameo. This was just getting disrespectful, 50 Cent said. This song doesn't really remind me of Biggie in any way, except for having the puffy background dancing and ad-libs and intro that almost destroy a good song. One day into the Fiddy vs Diddy sweepstakes, the petition has gathered about 900 signatures. 50 Cent also took his sentiments into his music, rapping rather stark words about Diddy, implying, if not actively saying, that Diddy is behind Biggie's end. To make matters worse, 50 Cent accused P. Diddy of being involved in the 1994 shooting of Tupac Shakur, a claim that P. Diddy vehemently denied. If you recall the controversial 2015 documentary Murder Rap Inside the Biggie and Tupac Murders presented evidence alleging Diddy had Tupac hit for $1 million. In 2016, the pop culture enthusiast and repeatedly bankrupt 50 Cent is adding in his own to and joining the millions who believe Kading's bold beliefs. 50 Cent went on Instagram and shared a laugh over a New York Daily News headline about Kading's shocking claims and accused Diddy of getting rid of Tupac. He also advised others to watch themselves around the mogul, writing, LMAO, so puffy with the huh? See, you gotta watch these punks. Scary will try you. Hashtag no puffy juice, he killed Tupac, lol. Puffy juice being Ciroc. Greg Kading's documentary claims Diddy had Tupac's life ended because he was afraid of retaliation after friend and bodyguard Anthony Wolf Jones allegedly ended Suge's close friend and alleged Bloods gang member Jai Hassan Jamal Robles, also known as Big Jake. The documentary features a taped 2008 interview between Kading and Compton native or Southside Crips gang member named Dwayne Keffy D. Davis. During the interview, Davis alleges Diddy approached him on two separate occasions to discuss ending Tupac and Suge Knight. Davis claims Puffy once declared, while in a room full of Crips, that he'd give anything for Pac and Suge Knight's head. IG mentions were a disaster for Puffy, with people calling him some bad names. You killed a legend because you could never be on his level, wrote one person. 
One person even wished demise on Diddy, writing, I've known you killed Tupac. Burn in hell. I hope you get a hole in your head, bruh. The accusations created a rift between 50 and Diddy, and tensions continued to rise as both artists became more successful. Personal differences and misunderstandings also played a significant role in the 50 Diddy feud. 50 Cent felt that P. Diddy was not giving him the respect he deserved, and he accused him of being jealous of his success. On the other hand, P. Diddy saw 50 Cent as an ungrateful upstart who didn't show enough respect to those who came before him in the industry. The feud between P. Diddy and 50 Cent escalated when they started taking shots at each other in their music. P. Diddy released a diss track called Victory in which he made thinly veiled references to 50 Cent. It's difficult to forget the turbulent relationship 50 Cent had with his ex, which erupted in 2013 when the rapper was charged with domestic misconduct and vandalism. Even though he accepted a plea deal and was not found guilty, the incident undoubtedly damaged his reputation. The conflict between 50 Cent and P. Diddy reached a new level in late 2014 when the rap mogul chose to compete against Puffy Ciroc Vodka Empire with his own line of booze. Not content to just refer to P. Diddy's product as Puffy Juice, 50 Cent inked a partnership with Effin Vodka and set out to depose Diddy from his position of dominance. The setting was set for a drunken brawl, with 50 Cent pouring shots of Ciroc over Twitter and perhaps even renaming Diddy's Vodka Puffy Juice. There was no doubt that the conflict between these two superstars was far from over. Curtis Jackson, commonly known as 50 Cent, continued to wage war against P. Diddy in 2015. In June 2015, when Diddy was detained on assault charges, 50 thought it would be the perfect time to make fun of his adversary. He released a video on Instagram making fun of Diddy's arrest and sarcastically claimed that the bail money was his. In retaliation, Diddy gave 50 a limitless supply of Ciroc. The conflict, however, continued. In August 2015, Diddy made an appearance on The Breakfast Club and made fun of the 50s vodka industry by labeling it a little company. The show's host then presented Diddy with a case of effing vodka, which had a note attached from 50 asking to be friends. But Diddy wasn't having it. He took the opportunity to throw shade at 50's business, saying that small companies like this don't have a lot of supply. There were many savage insults and devastating jabs in the fight between 50 Cent and P. Diddy. However, it appeared that things had changed by 2018. In an interview with The Breakfast Club, P. Diddy disclosed that 50 had been holding thoughts of love for him all along. P. Diddy asserted that 50 had always harbored love for him in secret despite calling him a fruitcake and charging him with crimes on Instagram. The ferocious animosity between the two appeared to have transformed into a cozy relationship. But let's not overlook the outrageous claims and vicious attacks that came before. It just goes to show that even the fiercest of feuds can be overcome with time and a little bit of love. 50 Cent has turned a new leaf and moved on from his past troubles. He's now dating a stunning model, Jamira Haynes, nicknamed Cuban Link, and the two have been going strong since making their relationship public in August 2019. While the recent incident with Daphne Joy may have stirred up some old feelings, it's clear that 50 Cent is trying to keep things positive for the sake of his new relationship. There have been many ups and downs in the relationship between 50 Cent and P. Diddy, but in the end, it appears that they have set aside their differences and discovered a point of agreement. Their journey is a tribute to the beauty of reconciliation and the strength of forgiveness, from exchanging insults to demonstrating love and respect. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Stay tuned.